beautiful night for football here in the Midwest as we are at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here at Arrowhead as their beloved Chiefs took field, and they are set to match up with the Minnesota Vikings. And wow, a gamble here right off the bat, an onside kick to begin the game. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. Onside kick is recovered. KC's offense ready to take over. First down, Mahomes, and his first pass is incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. At the 40-yard line. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. A gain of one. Brings up Mahomes, going to throw. That's who is running back, Edwards Alaire. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced the dump off to the back, and even then they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. A first down throw for Cousins. Forced out to his left. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. 29 yards. First down, Minnesota. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go. And he's going to go down again. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Now fourth down. On fourth down, they do snap it to Cousins. Oh, going for Jeffers. And that's caught at the 25. And this will set them up nicely deep down in KC territory. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. From the red zone now, Cousins. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. This has been a long drive. You know that defense, they're craving to get off the field. They were able to force it free, but couldn't recover it. Yeah, and on the offensive side of the ledger, they were thinking about how do we punctuate this? Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. He's at the 50, 30, past the 20. And he has brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. Touchdown, Chiefs. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's returned for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. Now this will make it into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there, but it's going to be second down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes, and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Let's it fly for Thielen. He rifles one that's intercepted. 
picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second. shake off the interception he'll look to throw and the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down Jaron Reed muscles his way in for the sack it's second down they'll get four on second down but it leaves him with third and still nine to go after one seven nothing on EA Sports That's the end of the first quarter with the score Chiefs seven Vikings nothing. On third down, Cousins. He'll rifle this one deep right side. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Vikings! Dan Bailey now for the extra point. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. Boy, they're down only one score. Still first half, but they're going to line up for the onside kick. And this one travels out of bounds, so unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. They'll run here with Edwards Alaire. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. On the ground, this is the former Viking, Jarek McKinnon. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down marker at the Vikings 26. After a gain of five, they'll wind. being about a length of the football short here on third down. Right there, 54, right there, right there. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. There. now on first down into heavy traffic and it's intercepted picked off near the 42 and the re turn here is stopped at the 35 and now out comes Minnesota and they're coming off a three and out my friend
think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked go to so well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. From the gun, here's Cousins. Open man is Thielen. It's complete. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Adam Thielen, 41 yards. And the Vikings are within a two-point conversion of tie in this game. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh -oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. And now here comes Kansas City. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. Mahomes again here on second and 10. Got a man right side, it's sharp. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11. On second and 11 now. Mahomes, a quick slant to Hill. Mahomes, eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And all the way. Kansas City touchdown. Demarcus Robinson, 48 yards. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. And that makes it a nine-point game. Makes the score Chiefs 21, Vikings 12. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Vikings ready to go again on offense. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Dalvin Cook is running back, the intended target. But it'll be second down. Throwing his cousins. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back. But that's one. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. The 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. To number 18. Justin Jefferson, 82 yards. And the Vikings are able to make this a close game again. Mike Zimmer's made the decision. His guys will go for two. Cook, they'll try and run it. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Boy, they're down only one score, still first half. But they're going to line up for the onside kick. 
And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Now a throw for the All-Pro. Kelsey is complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. We're on Kansas City. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Incomplete. Brings up second and 10 at the 24-yard line. Now it's Mahomes again. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Mahomes to throw once more. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And that lead is now seven with a chance to go to eight or more if they want to get crazy here, which we don't expect. But I just know the way the game's being played, the analytics, there's going to be a lot more going for two in a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And I think their focus here, they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other and just a little bit of time left on the clock. Yeah, they don't want to do anything to erase the good feeling they have right now by getting this late score in the half. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Cousins. That's complete to Moss out of the backfield. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. It's a gain of 23. 23 yards on the play. Cousins now to throw on first down. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. So we've reached halftime in a wild first. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. 20. Harrison Butler. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now come the Vikings, they'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. Now we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 20. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Bashad Breland, and he's going to return. to the 21-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Tajay Sharp, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. He was defended by Patrick Peterson. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Caught out left side by Robinson. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Third and four. 
From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. Wait a second, that's got to be a mistake. They declined it. That doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, it doesn't at all because you want that penalty. All right, they just picked up a first down, right? You want the penalty. I, I am so confused right now. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Second and goal. They try again with Cook. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Cousins to throw for it on fours. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. That to his running back, Edwards Hilaire. The end result, 21 yards. For a Kansas City Chiefs. First and 10 at the 30. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That is caught. It's Tajay Sharp. Mahomes pass. Seven yards to pick up there. A seven. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. 38 yard line. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Cook, they'll try and run it. They'll try and run it here. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Vikings 26. Well, it's only a one-score game. Third quarter, mind you, but they're going to go for the onside kick right here. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game. First and ten here. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. He was covered by Jeff Gladney. Now here's Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Tyreek Hill. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. Mahomes now to throw. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off at the 35. But they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their 38. Off the play fake, he'll set up to throw it. Let's it fly for, th and that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Vikings. Complete. Adam Thielen. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Vikings have taken the lead. The Vikings will. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels. And that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Dan Bailey to kick off for Minnesota. 
And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. Onside kick is recovered by the Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. 39-yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. Throw left side, complete to Sharp. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Kansas City Chiefs. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Chiefs 28. On play action, it's Mahomes. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And give him now four interceptions in this game. That's only the third time this has been done since the year 2000. I think that tells you how much better teams have gotten at throwing the football. If you go all the way back to 1960, 12 times before that, there have been guys who have gotten four interceptions or more in a game. I mean, most recently since 2000, Delta O'Neal and D'Angelo Hall. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Play action now, Cousins. And look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. He's back to throw here to start the drive. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before this one? And my goodness, another interception. Xavier Woods with a pick, and the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Well, to be frank, CD, this is getting tough to watch. I mean, you feel for him, but six interceptions, that's at a whole new level. It's not a good level. It makes it tougher and tougher to come up with ways to try and support him, but you have to as a team because you can't just throw your quarterback aside. You're going to need him later on, but it reminds me of a time that a former defense coordinator of mine told me he was in a game where his quarterback threw seven interceptions. So after the 6-1, one of the defensive players went to the quarterback and said, here's what you do. Throw the ball to the other team, and let's see if our receivers can pick it off and turn it into, into a completion. That's just mean. I don't know that I'd go down there and say that to him right now. Probably pretty fragile. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. And the Vikings first down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 18. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Robinson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. At the 31-yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that. And it... and, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Gladney. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. 
Built the number seven, usually team. lucky here not for yards. him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times. In, and the Chiefs are going to get him. Chris Jones breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Cousins. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Chris Jones in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Cousins gives way to Cook. Now Cook hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. Here comes Mahomes and the Chiefs. Down by six. A minute 52 to play. The late fumble gives him unexpected new life as they come up first down. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. Another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you out. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Will Parks. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. Mahomes to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. And a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. The ball carrier. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Throwing here, Cousins. His throw caught right around the six. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And now here is another interception. Picked off inside the five, but he will not be able to bring it back. My goodness, what a bizarre ending. The kind of decision that could get a quarterback released before he gets back to the locker room. But fortunately for him and his crew, the ball game is over. Well, no doubt an electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10-yard line. That final shot, though, they couldn't get it in the end zone, and that's all she wrote. And they had the final shot. The last snap taken that close to the end zone, they don't get it in, so they'll regret that. But flip it over, making a stand in that portion of the field, congratulations to them.
So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Kansas City.